Today was amazing. It was just, it felt so good to be working again. I was a one of the high seniority. That never happens. Good morning guys and welcome to a new flight attendant vlog. As you guys probably guessed since I am wearing my flight attendant uniform. So I'm at work right now. I'm just standing here in our crew parking lot. I still have about one and a half hours before I need to um, show up for my briefing. It's currently 4 a.m. So I left my house at 2 a.m. And you guys know I try to be early every single time I go to work because you never know what will happen on a road, whether there's gonna be a little bit of a hold up at the border, nothing, nothing major. They just waved me through basically. I mean, I was in uniform and I had all of the paperwork, so that was good. Um, so I'm really excited. It's just a day trip today, but I'm actually staying in Munich and then I have my medical tomorrow. So the medical I have tomorrow is my first medical ever since I got hired. I did have like my tropical medical, but that was just a talk with a doctor, like no tests or anything or examinations. But tomorrow I'll have to do like an eye exam and all of that kind of stuff. And just like a general checkup, I guess. Um, it's really good though because obviously they need to make sure that we're fit to fly and that we're like um, fit to evacuate a plane in the worst case. So that's what this medical is all about. And apart from that today we have four legs. So um, by the way, in case you're wondering why there is a red dot, um, there is some dust underneath of my lens and I can't get it out. So yeah. <laughs> That's why that weird red dot is showing up right, um, oh, it's here, right here. Um, oh well, never mind. It doesn't show up in most light conditions, but the lighting here is really bad, and when there's bad lighting, it always shows up. Sorry about that, I can't change it, but I'm not gonna buy a new camera because of that, so yeah. Um, <laughs> What was I saying? I have four flights today. So basically we're going from Munich to Frankfurt back to Munich and then we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're doing two Frankfurt turns today. They're really short flights, like 45 minute flights. I'm not sure whether I'll get to film on a plane or not. We'll see. If not, I'll still try to show you around like the airport and stuff. I'm really excited still, even though it's just a one day trip. Um, I'm still really excited that I get to work again and that this trip has regularly been in my schedule. So I didn't get it out of reserve or standby or anything. It's just been in my schedule. That's, I mean, for a lot of people that will probably be like, the usual even right now but for me it's the first month that has happened that i finally have like a line again and not just a standby or a surf line I'm really excited i think we got back here at like i'm not sure 2 or 3 p.m something like that and then afterwards i'm just gonna go to the airport i need to buy some pantyhose and we do get a discount at the store there i always buy compression tights just um to make sure that i stay healthy and that my legs won't hurt and stuff so i'll go over to the airport to get those and then i'm actually driving over to my hotel because i'm staying here tonight and that's basically it so it's just a short trip but hey it's better than no trip at all right Today I'm working the three left position in the back. So we're just waiting for boarding because we're ready. That's basically it. guys, I just landed here in Munich. There's the airport right behind me, so I tried to actually go and buy some pantyhose at our food store, but it turned out that it was closed. It's gonna be closed until like June, I believe, at least. 
So that was not the best thing to do to go over here. Because now I actually need to take the train to get back to our crew building, but that's okay. It won't take long. I just got to my hotel here in Erding. Erding is, well, like a 15 minute drive from the airport, so very close. Munich would be way further away, so the airport is way outside of Munich. In case you have not been to Munich, it takes a while to get into town from the airport. But yeah, today was amazing. It was just, it felt so good to be working again, to like talk to my coworkers. It just felt like I have some sort of like normality back. Everything went smoothly. And by the way, I think, I don't know, did I talk about it, about the planes we were on? So we were supposed to change aircrafts twice. It ended up um, only being one aircraft change during the whole trip because somehow they changed planes. So we were only on one of our Airbus A320s, just like the regular ones, and then we were on the 320 Max, um, the new version. It's just basically like an A320, but the galley is smaller, there are more seat rows, it's a little longer, I believe, and there are just more seats in that plane. So yeah, we were a crew of one purser, three flight attendants, and two pilots, and we all had the same trip so we didn't have anyone like a chaser who switched crews or anything so that was good i was working in the back i was the three left i wanted to be the three left i was the one with the high seniority that never happens it really never does usually i'm one of the people with a lower seniority so i've been flying for almost five years but my seniority is i'd say it's not that bad but lately it's usually been sort of bad so I mean, generally speaking, it's really not that bad, but it always depends what kind of crew you have, whether they are senior to you or junior. And yeah, this flight, I got to pick my position. And last time when I worked short haul, I was up front working in business class. So today, well, I actually helped out in business class, but I decided to go to economy class because I hadn't been in economy class on a short haul flight in over a year, <laughs> to be fair. As a passenger, yes, but not as crew. So for today, I think I'm just gonna head on over to the drugstore because they have the shampoo that I use and in Germany, like toiletries and that kind of stuff are so much cheaper than in Austria. So I usually just buy them like shampoo, shower gel, all that kind of stuff whenever I'm in Germany. And there is a drugstore right next to this hotel. So I'm just gonna go over there. Um, oh, wait. I just looked out there. I didn't know that there wasn't all these over there. I think I've never had my hotel room facing that way, so that might be why. But I'm not gonna go over to all these because I usually go in Austria and they have like the same prices pretty much, give or take. Um, apart from that, I think I'm just gonna change into my regular clothes and then I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. Currently it is almost 4 p.m. Where did today go? Um, and then tomorrow, I have to leave here at like 7.30 a.m. I'm just trying to be um, early, so in case there's traffic or whatever, I'm there on time. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that my crew was amazing today? So I had so much fun, it was amazing. I think I have probably shown you guys that room at least 20 times. So, the view. I think I really have never faced that way when I had a hotel room here. So there's an oldies out there and there is a church, I believe. I am about to have my dinner. It's so good. It's homemade pasta salad. Basically, it's just a whole wheat pasta with tomatoes, um, a bunch of herbs, some balsamic vinegar, some olive oil, salt, pepper, chili. Anything else? I think I put a little bit of garlic in there, but that's it. It's just, it's so easy. Oh, I forgot the main ingredient. There is feta cheese in there, <laughs> so um, yeah, it's so easy. I don't have a recipe or anything. I just usually just mix everything together and then just go from there and taste it and see if I like it the way it is, but it's so easy. It's great for the summertime when it's hot outside, but it's also great to take with you because this was basically cooled because I had it in my car and it was kind of cold in our crew parking lot so it was definitely cooled well because of the cheese but it doesn't matter if you leave it out for like two hours it's it's not gonna go bad really quickly so 
that's why I like to bring this on my trips <laughs> and this is a lot of food trust me this is a huge container there's so much in there so my lunch was basically a sandwich like homemade bread with cheese so I figured I might as well have a bigger dinner I probably won't have to buy any food while I'm here in Germany I'm just gonna eat whatever I brought <laughs> It's basically it. I think I'm gonna watch some Netflix now. I did bring my laptop. I don't think I'm gonna do anything. I'm just too tired. I'm gonna um, talk to Mario on the phone later and then I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm tired, you guys. I got up at 1.20 a.m. this morning and it's currently 5 p.m. Good morning. I had a good night's sleep. I slept so well last night. I was so tired, you guys. I think you probably saw it when I talked to you. Um, so I'm really glad that I spent the night here, that I didn't go home and then come back this morning. I would have had to leave my house at like 5 a.m. So I didn't want to do that. And this way I know I'm in the area. It doesn't take me long to go to the medical. So I'm well rested, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how long this will take today. I am guessing maybe an hour or two depending on how quick um, they move me from one test to the next. So what they usually do is, or what they did the first time I had my medical was I needed to go in and then I had to fill out a questionnaire, then I had, um, then I had my eye exam, I had my hearing test, um, what else? They did some blood work, a doctor checked me to make sure that my reflexes work and that kind of stuff. What else? They did monitor my heart and all of that. So they definitely gave me a complete checkup. And yeah, I feel like that's in my own interest and in interest of my employer, obviously, to make sure that all of their employees are actually fit. Um, again, this is actually the law, so it's not like it's up to airlines to say, oh, we're gonna do these and these tests. No, they're lost about it, so yeah. Um, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm not sure the last time I think I had to wait for like a week and then I got my results in the mail. I'm not sure if it's quicker this time. I don't know. We'll see. Good morning. It's already the next day. I totally forgot to vlog last night, so... I got back home at, I don't know, like 1 or 2 p.m., something like that. Then I made some lunch and afterwards, Mario and I went over to a friend's place because it was her birthday, just to like um, wish her a happy birthday, give her her present and all of that. And then afterwards, we both went to bed pretty early last night because we were both really tired. I made it through my medical. I passed all of my examinations and tests. So it was not anything like a written test or anything. It was basically just, um, they're making sure that I'm healthy. So yeah, yeah, I seem to be healthy. So first of all, they gave me a questionnaire that I needed to fill in. Afterwards, they wanted me to do an eye exam. They made sure that I see enough. After that, I actually had to wait, I don't know, like half an hour or something. And then I needed to give them a urine sample. And after that, I was called into the doctor's office and uh, she did like a regular checkup, like um, check my ears, um, all of that. I had to do a few like balance things, like um, stand on one foot and stuff like that with my eyes closed, just stuff like that. If I was able to reach my toes with my fingers and you guys know I do yoga and the doctor was like, well, you told me that you do yoga, so I'm pretty sure that won't be a problem for you. And then I showed her that I can put like my hand flat on the floor doing that. And she was like, oh yeah, that works. <laughs> it was actually pretty fun. Um, it's now renewed, so yay. And with that, I'm, I'm thinking about ending this vlog here basically because that working uh, week is over. So starting on Monday, I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not going on vacation, but I'm on paid leave for 10 days and yeah after that I have my consecutive days off that I get every month and then I already know that I'll be working in the beginning of May. I will tell you more about this. I already have something scheduled uh, for May. It's my emergency training, my annual recurrent training that I need to go through. And I mean, it's not completely um, like a 100% thing that's gonna happen on May 3rd, but it already shows up on May 3rd. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to recurrent training on May 3rd. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Sorry that I didn't get to show any more of the plane or anything, but you guys know I'm there to work and I cannot film if there's work to do. 
so mainly I'm just filming whenever I have a break because um, yeah I can't film anything that's like safety relevant or anything like that obviously I'm sure you guys already guessed that and mainly I just film when we get to the plane and are done with all of our flight preps and are just waiting for passengers to board and all that kind of stuff um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was not a long haul flight this month, but I bid on this trip, so I already knew beforehand that it was not going to be a long haul. And you guys knew if you watched my roster reveal video, because I mentioned it there that it's a short haul trip. Um, some of you have asked why I don't mention where I'm going before a trip. So there are two ways I do things. So if I have really good trips in there and stuff, I will usually tell you guys where I'm going, but I won't tell you the exact dates I'm traveling to that destination just for my own safety. Because I mean, if you tell people where you are at a certain day at a certain time, you know, um, that wouldn't be safe. And I try to be safe because this is the internet after all. And apart from that, like with short haul or with reserve, I usually tell you guys when I might be working or when I am working, which day, but I won't tell you where exactly I'm going for safety reasons. I hope that makes sense. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you made it this far, then um, please hit that subscribe button down below in order to support me and my channel. And don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, because that also helps my channel. Um, I hope you all have a lovely week. I'm so glad that I was finally able to work again and show you guys what it's like to work a trip. And I don't know, like this trip felt different. Um, I know that short haul flights are usually a little fuller than long haul flights at the moment just because of the travel restrictions, especially if you're traveling within the same country, um, there aren't as many travel bans. So I get why these flights are fuller. And it was actually good to see some people again, like even at the airport, it felt just, it felt like there are more planes departing and landing, um, especially international planes. I saw a lot of other carriers land and depart, which I hadn't seen in a while. So that was just, I don't know, it feels like we're finally going back to a sort of normality. I know it's not gonna happen for a while. A lot of you have asked how the vaccine rollout is going over here. If you have watched the news or anything and they talked about Europe, you probably know that there have been severe delivery shortages on the vaccine and therefore it's going really slow. So it'll probably take months before everyone can actually get their shot or jab or whatever you wanna call it. But um, that's just all I'm gonna say um, concerning this because obviously I don't work in the vaccine rollout sector. I don't work in logistics or anything like that. So I don't wanna give you guys any false information. That's just what we heard over here. Um, anyways, I hope you have a great week. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.